Hi, this is Michael Nearon, immigration lawyer and founder of VisaPlace.com. A lot has been said about avoiding being a victim of immigration fraud. Immigration fraud is an ongoing problem worldwide. Individuals holding themselves out to be legal representatives for people to assist them with their immigration applications. Well, the Canadian government has um, issued a memo about warning people to avoid immigration fraud. Uh, it was um, published in, in March of 2014, and um, it's obviously a problem. Uh, my tips for avoiding immigration fraud are as follows. Number one, ask your prospective representative for a copy of his or her license. Uh, if the person is legally allowed to represent uh, you, they should have a license, either a, a license as a registered immigration consultant, a, a licensed lawyer, a member of uh, an, a paralegal who is a member of um, a law society. So there's no harm in asking them for a copy of their license. The other thing is ask for references. Uh, there's um, a lot of people out there who have retained immigration professionals and um, perhaps they know who this person is. Another way is the internet. Now the internet is not perfect. There's a lot of information out there and, th and there's a lot of misinformation out there. So you have to be careful. But you can always check online reviews through Google, through Yelp, and through other review sites to uh, verify that A, the representative is real, and that they have had a good reputation, they've done, they've done well um, in servicing their clients. Uh, and there's no harm in meeting them, and if they, if they are local, um, or if they're not local, you can, you can chat with them through Skype and, and, and the phone, and get a feel for uh, who you're dealing with. Now, if you decide to hire this person, make sure that a retainer agreement, uh, an engagement letter, is prepared. You read it. It will outline the duties that they will perform for you, and they will ask you to sign it. Because this is a real important document in case something goes wrong. You have something to protect yourself uh, against, uh, and it's very important. So those are some quick tips. Of course, there's no guarantees, um, and uh, cases sometimes are very difficult to process, even if you hire a good lawyer or a good uh, a consultant, but at least that's a start. So hopefully this helped you. Have a great day.